Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to another video. I hope you guys are doing great. Today I'm going to be sharing with you a massive slime supply haul. So I was running short on like a lot of different things. So I went ahead and I picked up a bunch of different supplies. I thought that you guys would really enjoy seeing what I picked up, which is why I'm filming this video. And also because I'm thinking it would be really awesome to give my slime room a makeover. It's like pretty boring at the moment, which is why I'm thinking of making like this new series on my channel. So in this first video today, I'm gonna show you what I bought for my slime room. And then in the next video, I'm gonna show you the actual like slime room. And then I'm gonna show you how I organize everything. So guys, let me know if you are excited about this new series. And if you have like any suggestions on like what I can do, please let me know any comments down below. And with that all being said now, let's just get right into the haul. Okay guys, so I have a lot to show you and everything isn't going to fit in one frame. So I'm gonna show you everything one by one and I'm gonna try to go like as quickly as possible. So the first thing I picked up is glue because you can't make slime without glue, right? So here I have six gallons of white Elmer's glue. I actually got these on sale for $20 each. And normally when I go to Michael's, they're like $36 I think. So I got a pretty good deal. Next, I bought 18 bottles of clear Elmer's glue. These are each 950 ml, and I would have bought like the gallons, but they have a weird yellow tint to them for some reason. So I bought these instead because these are actually clear. I also picked up a bunch of different colors of glitter glue, and I'm gonna go ahead and show you like each color individually. These are all of the different colors of glitter glue that I bought. I do have doubles of some of them because I bought like those variety packs. Um, and I also want to be completely honest with you guys. I have never used these before and I don't plan on using them. I only got these because I think they would look really nice in my slime room. So I basically uh, just bought these for display. This is probably the highlight of this video. I picked up 174 boxes of Daiso clay. I know this kind of seems a bit excessive, but I got a really good deal. So when I buy um, clay from like Amazon, it's about four to five dollars each for one box. I don't know why it's like super expensive here in Canada, but these I got for a dollar fifty each. I went to this Japanese dollar store, and luckily they had Daiso clay. So I went ahead and I picked up 174 boxes, which if you do the math, I basically saved about like five to $600. I'm so, so excited about these because I've been using a lot of clay in my videos and these are also going to look amazing in my slime room. Alrighty guys, so next up, I picked up two different kinds of snow. We have this big bag of instant snow, which is for cloud slime, and then a bag of plastic snow, which is like more for crispy, crunchy slime. And now for slime toppings. The first thing I picked up were sprinkles and I got like different shapes and colors. You can't really see them right now in this angle. So I'm gonna change it up and give you guys a closer look. These are all of the sprinkles that I bought and just looking at them makes my heart so happy. There are like so many different shapes and colors and yeah, it's so aesthetically pleasing. Before buying these larger packs of sprinkles, I was actually buying those teeny tiny packs that you can get on Etsy and they would only last me for, I want to say like two to three slimes. So I just went ahead and I invested money in these larger packs of sprinkles. And if you do the math, you are actually saving money, especially if you use a lot of sprinkles in your slimes. Plus you can also use these for other crafts. So. Yeah, I'm super excited to like start organizing these because it's going to look really awesome. And the next thing I picked up were foam beads. I'm really excited about these because now I have so many different colors to add into my slimes. This is a box of pastel foam beads. I am so happy that I finally have these because I don't have any pastel colored foam beads. And I'm sure you guys know that pastel colors are like my thing. So I am so happy that I finally have these. And then I did also get a pack of basic bright colors of foam beads.
and this is the rest of the stuff that I picked up now everything here is kind of like smaller so you can't really see it that well in this angle which is why I'm going to change it up and give you guys close-ups Okay, so here we have glitter and all three of these are from Michaels. So the first one has rose gold, gold, silver and iridescent glitter. The next one has hexagon shaped glitters in different colors. So we have purple, blue, pink, yellow, orange and green. And then the last one has hearts and stars in different colors. I picked up another pack of glitter from Michaels and then I bought this pack of colorful fishbowl beads. These are from Amazon and I actually thought that the packs would be bigger um, but I ended up getting these like really small little packs of beads. It's alright but I was just expecting to get like more of them. I'm sorry the lighting kind of changes here, I forgot to film this part of the video uh, but I also picked up some pearl beads and I got these in different colors. These were surprisingly very cheap, I got like one pack for $2 and I think it's pretty good. Here are some more add-ons that I bought, so these are pearl beads but these are bigger in size. I got some like stars, fruit sizes and just like little things I could add to my slimes. These are packing peanuts, but they're shaped like hearts. I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do with these, but I got them because I thought they would look nice, maybe in like a giant slime or something like that, but I'm not really sure. Okay, so this is Daiso polymer clay, and when I saw these at the store, I thought that you're supposed to like bake them in the oven, like with any polymer clay, but when I read the instructions at home, you're supposed to let this air dry. So I was kind of confused, but uh, hopefully uh, they're good. And I think I didn't mention, but I bought these to make charms for my slimes. I also picked up some scents and I've started using these and these are really good. So the first pack I have is the summer collection and this has like fruity scents. So we have mango, banana, peaches and cream. And then the second pack that I got is the Cookies and Cakes collection. So this has very sweet scents like cupcake, snickerdoodle, uh, brownie, and like very sweet chocolatey scents. Of course, if you make slime, you need food coloring. So I bought this pack and I've been using these and these are really good. Um, you get like a bunch of different colors and yeah, I've been using these a lot in my videos. You guys may have noticed and yeah, I really like them. To kind of like up my filming game, I bought a new pink spatula and whisk. And then I got these super adorable unicorn measuring cups. I am so in love with these. I'm trying to also find cute like measuring spoons, but I haven't really found any. So if you guys like know where I can get some, please let me know in a comment. Last but not least, I bought new slime containers. So here we have four ounce containers, then we have six ounce, and then I also bought eight ounce containers. But the box of that is so big, so I can't really include it in this frame. Here's a little clip to show you the different sizes of containers that I bought. So we have 4 ounce, 6 ounce, and 8 ounce. And that is it for this haul. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did enjoy this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. And if you are new to my channel and if you could maybe click that subscribe button, that would be so, so awesome. Before I end this video, I quickly want to give out a huge shout out to my notification squad. Thank you guys so much for your comments. And if you aren't part of the notification squad, all you have to do is turn on your post notifications and leave me a comment down below to be featured in my next video. I'm super excited about this new series, so please be sure to leave your suggestions in the comments down below. And yeah, I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next video.